a good night to order takeout, I'll tell you. Hey, you like pizza? Yeah, silly question. Of course you do. But who makes the best pizza? We decided to find the top six. I don't know why I chose the top six. It just kind of came to me. But I didn't want to be the only judge. That just wouldn't be fair. Then I remembered I did a bratwurst cook-off against Cramp and Adler from FM 1021, and they made a killer brat pizza. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, will leave you with a bulging belly, onion breath, and a desire never to eat pizza again. Are you willing to do this for the people? Yes. Yes. And why are we talking like this? I don't know. I have no clue. We're the only ones here. Starting with hundreds of pizza places in southeast Wisconsin, I researched, blogged, listened, and found out which pizza places were creating a buzz. Then, armed with our short list, we were off, tasting dozens and dozens of pies. You have to learn to pay to sell. Two more to go. Joining the team, Fox 6 photojournalist Jeremiah Junkers. We poked, prodded, picked, and pulled. I'm a cutter. Brad, he's a poker. Cram, a pure picker. We judged five categories. Crust, sauce, cheese, toppings, and how all the flavors came together. 50 was a perfect score, and with four judges, that's a total of 200 points. So if two places were within one point of each other at the end, I called it a tie. Turns out we had three ties. Here are our top six. Number six, our first tie. Umalis in Plymouth and Ferrantes in Mequon. Couldn't stand to be up high. At Dio Malley's, we loved the care they took with their toppings, like sauteing wild mushrooms in butter first, and with their creative combos like a bacon cheeseburger, including pickles, ketchup, mustard, and onions. Ferrantes is a proven pizza veteran. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie. Traditional recipes are all from my grandpa Ferrante. That he started making pizzas in 1940. But it was their new pies that really made our mouths water. The garlic, eggplant, artichoke, and sun-dried tomatoes zinged right off the plate. These are definitely different than the other ones. Coming in at number five, another tie. Frankie D's in Kenosha and Gordo's in Kenosha. Frankie D's is a takeout joint, and Frank has a few tricks up his sleeve. First, it's the sauce. Second, is the crust. But our favorite didn't have any sauce. The Di Bartolo special, just olive oil, garlic, tomatoes, and basil. This is the bee's knees. Gordo's was the only place to wow us with a deep dish. The one-pound slice. Wow. The profile on that. We have a spicier sauce in most places. And the spicier sauce cuts right through that mountain of cheese and just shines. Two, three. At number four, classic slice in Milwaukee. It's going to be basil, fresh mozzarella, sausage, and pesto with our red sauce as well. Even with super fresh ingredients, it's the dough that makes classic slice a cut above. You know how to temperature control it. If it's more humid in the air, then you have to, you know, use colder water. Um, the mixing time is a little bit different, so it's kind of an art process. In third place, another tie. Wells Brothers in Racine, and Pizzeria Piccola in Wauwatosa. That's a mouthful. If you love crispy, thin crust, Wells Brothers is as good as it gets. Delicate, flaky, and just full of flavor. Very hot, very good. Wow. And nothing's written down. We're the only two that know the recipe <laughs> besides my dad and our uncle. Pizzeria Piccola fired up our taste buds, literally. Me, my dad. We burned three different types of wood in there. You can actually smell the wood fired on there. Hot, hot, hot. But totally in balance with those awesome fresh flavors. I do enjoy the fresh basil. And the creative combinations of a half dozen different cheeses. Our number two pizza, Calderon Club in Fox Point, Mequon, and Milwaukee. Calderon Club cooks its pies on seasoned slate, and they jazzed up that traditional basil tomato margarita pizza with three cheeses and prosciutto. The traditional margarita does not have the prosciutto, so we've added the prosciutto because uh, I think it goes really well. This is uh, outstanding. And our number one pizza, Il Retrovo in Sheboygan. Il Retrovo is one of only about a dozen pizzerias in the whole U.S. 
that is certified by the Verace Pizza Napoletana Association in Italy to make true Neapolitan pizza. With the follow strict guidelines and rules as far as the flour that we use, the sauce that we use, the tomatoes you use have to be imported from Italy. Not only do they make their own fresh cow's milk mozzarella in-house, they also fly in special water buffalo milk mozzarella from Italy. The crust is soft and thin and elastic. You're supposed to hold it. A really unique style. We tell them you'll, you'll, you'll never feel the same way about the pizza again. We agree. And that's why that's our number one pizza. Yeah, we couldn't even get off the ground. Again, we started with hundreds of possible pizza places. We narrowed it down to that short list that we actually tried of a few dozen. And uh, you can see all the places that qualified for our short list in alphabetical order on MyFoxMilwaukee.com. Just search, well, duh, pizza. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. Well, a few dozen here. I know that was a lot to eat. How did you even keep your mouth where you could still taste it? Two straight days, 12-hour days eating pizza. We just, you know, we just eat a little bit of each one, and we taste just a piece of the crust, a little bit of the sauce from a bowl and stuff like that. We paced ourselves. Okay, you didn't eat like a half a pizza. No. <laughs> good, good story. Well, now I know I need to go to Sheboygan. Awesome stuff. So